the I spend a lot of time just to talk about the meaning of AC analysis, right? So again, always in your mind, you you know you should know that when we do this a small signal, right? Unlike the power electronics, okay? Well, when we're doing a small signal, we bias it at the DC already. We sit, set up the stage. And then on top of the stage, on top of the DC, we apply some small signal model. And because of that, we can simplify our transistor from the long linear equation to a linear system. And from there, we extract two very important parameters. One is the transconductance, right? What is the meaning of transconductance again? Like an interview, uh, tell me what is the meaning of transconductance? Someone say gains, a little bit related. Yeah, you can say that, but you need to tell me what is the meaning of the gain. In principle, you can say that it's a gain. That's right. So now I talk about uh, current and, and resistance quite close now, right? But transconductance, remember what is that? We're talking about the transistor, right? So what we're we talking about? Okay. So uh, some say delta ID over delta VG, right? Conductance. Conductance must be the current divided by voltage. But because it is trans, so it is the uh, drain current divided by the uh, gate voltage. And it is about small signal. So it is saying that I change the gate voltage by a unit of amount, how much the current in the drain will change, the drain current will change. Okay, can you really... Take this very seriously as if I'm going to ask you in the exam. I won't because it's too easy. You put in the cheat sheet, right? But can you take it so seriously? Because this is a very important concept. When you deal with the transistor, right? Just like you, you buy a new computer. Many, I don't know if this is important to you now, but in the past when we buy a new computer, we all talk about what is the CPU speed, right? This is the most important matrix I want. And what is the memory? Right, how many uh, megabytes of RAM at that time, right? So I talk about transistor, right, or resistor. The first thing you think of is resistance. You know what is resistance. Now talk about transistor. I hope you the first thing you think of is what is the transconductance, and you know what it means, right? And this is the definition. So we do a partial differentiation over the DC equation. We get this one. We see that it's proportional to the width, proportional to the DC bias. You drive it harder, then it has a higher conductance. We also have another quantity called the output impedance, R out. And we the definition is, do you remember what is that? First of all, what is the definition of resistance and then which terminal it is about? how much you change the drain voltage, right? For, for a given change of the drain voltage, you want to see how much the drain current change, right? Just like what is a resistor? It's again, just uh, the delta V over delta I, that is a resistor. Okay, so again, this, right? Treat it seriously, memorize it, yeah. Yes, so sorry, we over I. I got it wrong. Bad word. Why? Just make it 1 over R naught, then it'll be correct. <laughs> yeah, higher, but. Um, transconductance better. Say again? Higher the transconductance. Yeah, better. so is higher transconductance better? Yes, because we have a better control. That is the reason, right? I change gate a little bit, then I get a lot of change in the current. Control will be better. Yeah, so higher will be better. So with this, then we draw this small signal circuit. Again, this represents this circuit, this device. This symbol, 
the complicated MR symbol, right? But only at a certain operating point, at this ID and at this VGS, right? So maybe I should even draw this better to say, to uh, make this clear. This, is, this might be talking about, here is VGS, and then with ID going down, and it doesn't matter how you are connected. The point is that I know I have ID going down, I have VGS across here. At this DC point, I have the GM and R out as this, as such. Okay? Then we say the PMOS is exactly the same as the NMOS. If you look at it from the topological point of view, the small signal is exactly the same. For example, I stand at the drain, I will go through this GMV1 and R out to source. Same here, stand at the drain, I go through R out and GMV GS to the source. Everything is the same. Okay? And do you still remember what is the definition of output impedance of a circuit? I mean, but what else can it be, right? If I, I, I really like force you to, to answer this question, if you answer it right, you will get a job. How would you try? Even you forget, what else can it be? Out, out. Uh, I mean, just a very basic definition. What is the output impedance? How would you define it? How do you measure the impedance? Yeah, just V over I, right? Do you agree? It cannot be other thing, right? But then which V, which I? Right, correct. So you're talking about apply the V to the output port, right? So is the output port you call it VX, VI because you use the test uh, symbol, right? I can call it V out, V zero. So I will call it uh, V zero, I zero. But this is a small signal class. We All we care about is the delta, right? The change. And that's it. Right. <coughs> Why it take us so much time to memorize this? Because we don't understand uh, enough what is the meaning of the output impedance. Just think about that. I give you something, ask you to measure the output impedance. Then what we do, we just add, a risk, add some voltage and measure the change of the current. That is the impedance. That's it, very simple. No rocket science, right? So this is the definition. But not yet, because last time I told you, we also need to make sure the V in equals to zero for a complicated circuit. Right, that is the definition. I explain to you why. Because we assume we have an ideal previous stage. So the previous stage should have a zero output uh, impedance, so it short the circuit. Okay, but this is something you need to memorize, right? You can put in cheat sheet, but how, how can you put in cheat sheet when you go for interview? Or you don't want to waste time to find out this again when you are solving a big problem in your job. Right, some fundamental thing you really want to understand it well, memorize it, right? So you change the voltage, you measure the change of current, that is the resistance. But we have an extra condition, we want V in equals to zero. That is just a definition. Right, so for a transistor, I look into the gate, I apply a voltage, I measure the current. Of course, the current is zero at DC. So the input impedance is infinity. I look into the drain. I need to ground the input because of this definition. And then I look into it, I only see R0. So the output impedance is R0. I look into the source. Again, I need to ground the input. 
and it's complicated. I need to solve the KCL, KVL, and we did it last time, and it is 1 over GM. Right? So we have a large input impedance when you look into the drain, a small when you look into the gate, uh, into the source. And it's always just our, 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 our zero and one over GM in this class, right? I mean, not always, but that is the fundamental one. You cannot, you should really memorize it, right? Just like a computer, there's always just a RAM and a memory and CPU, right? You won't mess up. You won't come up with something else that is not important for your computer. You never talk about how strong is your computer case, right? The chassis. Right. Okay, and then we talk about the current source. The most important thing about current source is that uh, it gives a constant current regardless of the biasing, right? So if you draw the V across it, the current is going to be constant. And we can implement it using a CMOS, a, a, a transistor, an MOS transistor, for example. We can implement using this transistor with VG bias here and ground here, AMOS. Let me try again. Right, and this is the ID. It's similar to a, a current source, almost constant. Except two things. Do you still remember what are the two things that make it not an ideal current source? Excellent. Current. Yes, uh, that modulation is due to what? Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. It has a slight slope, pinch off. The pinch off make what smaller when you have a pinch off? What do you call this? Length. Huh? Channel, no, channel length. So then it's a channel length modulation, right? I mean, keep, to, keep correlating, right? That's how you learn, okay? Very good.